Hey boo. Yes, I love all things pumpkin for the season. I love all things Halloween, fall, fall flavors, fall holidays, traditions. If you caught this channel last season, you will see everything transform here in about five days into full on fall and Halloween and then Christmas, November 1st. Either way, I was working on my first fall flavored macro friendly breakfast or dessert, whatever you wanna call it. And I took a combination of two recipes that that I like overnight oats and chia seed pudding and made a pumpkin pie spiced overnight chia seed oat pudding. Okay, so I it is a quick and easy recipe. I've never had this. I kind of made it up just based on the flavors that I like. And I have already let it like sit in the fridge for like four hours. I think I'll go overnight. But it looks like a pretty voluminous type of dessert or breakfast. And this could be a great one if you also are a fall flavored fan to make a bunch of them beginning of the week. Pull them out if you need a quick and easy breakfast. If you want to bring it for a lunch, it has Greek yogurt in it, so you're gonna get a little bit of protein, and then the carbs are gonna be mostly from the oats and the chia seeds. Some good fat from the uh, chia seeds. You'll get a little bit extra carb from the pumpkin, but you could always bump this up with more protein by adding vanilla protein powder or possibly a collagen. That would be really tasty for like a full meal. But before I show you how to make that recipe, I thought I'd show you a couple other things. Yes, I already started using my mug from last year from Target, my witch's brew mug. Does anybody else love a good coffee mug or something that you'll use every single day as soon as the season hits? I don't know why, but this is like the perfect size mug. It's like smooth, it feels so nice, so I already started using it. I have not been able to find pumpkin creamer yet, so I kind of made my own spin on it. And then the boys took a little trip to Target with me. I don't really know how they got into this, but they asked to go to Target a lot and they're kind of like mostly toddlers during COVID. So we never really went to Target. I spent a lot of time there before the boys and I spent a lot of time there like when I wasn't with them, but I'm, I don't know where they started coming up with this, but they're like, mommy, can we go to Target? And I love it there, but like we're not going to get toys if that's what you think we're doing, which they think that's what we're gonna do. So I was like, listen, daddy's out of town in Nashville and we could go spend some time at Target and if you're really good boys and you give mommy a lot of time to explore, and I, I told him the agenda of what I needed to do there, I said I might give you a budget to get something. They actually were really good boys so they each got a little Spider-Man at the end, but they also had a lot of fun helping mommy pick out some Halloween stuff. So I literally would have only bought one pair of earrings, but they were having so much fun I bought three. So first off, we saw these and they were like eight bucks and I love holiday stuff. So I was like, I will for sure wear those. I'm actually really into skulls right now and they're super lightweight. So if you're someone who like can't handle heavy earrings, which I can't, those were pretty cute. Second pair, yes, we got three pairs. <laughs> who needs three pairs of Hall like Halloween earrings, but you know. And then we got these ghosts. Aren't they so cute? So that is the sugar fix, which, you know, like the bobble bar they have there, and they have some cute earrings. They actually have a lot of cute Halloween ones, but the boys picked those out, so I thought those were super cute. Then they thought I needed these too. One of them says, hey boo, right? So one says hey, the other one says boo, so hey boo. And then we got little pumpkin studs, if you can see those and little tiny ghost at the bottom. So I think I'm set up and ready to go for Halloween earrings. Okay, now back to the recipe. Super simple, and I mean really simple. I just had everything laid out, ready to go. I used my food scale so I don't have to get out as many measuring cups or measuring spoons. If you just know the weight of something, it's actually way less cleanup, and you can do it all in one bowl. So I had my mason jar ready to go, and I started with the wet ingredients. So I did Greek yogurt, quarter cup, added a quarter cup of canned pumpkin. I think it was a half a cup of unsweetened almond milk. I'll drop the recipe in the, just the description. And then it was a teaspoon or a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, whatever you prefer. And I started with a tablespoon of maple syrup. I had sugar-free on hand, so I used sugar-free. If you wanna use pure maple syrup, go for it. Mix that up together first. Then I added the dry ingredients, which was two teaspoons of chia seeds. It was 40 grams or a half a cup of the dried oats, and then I did a half a teaspoon of the pumpkin pie spice, mixed it up, I gave it a taste to see if I liked the sweetness and I wanted it a little bit sweeter. So I actually added in monk fruit drops and I did about five of them, put it into the refrigerator, it says you know probably four hours, it'll thicken it enough, I'm just gonna go overnight, I'll test it out tomorrow, but quick and easy, first 
pumpkin flavored fall recipe. I will report how it tastes, but that's what I got for today. Let me know in the comments if you like this quick and easy recipe, if you'd like to see more quick and easy recipes, which ones you might want me to macro makeover for the fall. If you have any fall flavors that you're looking to maybe adjust the calories to not be as much, but still have the flavor and the taste and the nostalgia you remember about that food. All right, that's all I got. Chat soon. Okay, so I have been loving this pumpkin chia seed overnight oat uh, pudding, whatever you wanna call it. It's like really good. I know it doesn't look so appetizing. However, I since I've been making it a lot, I've been having it for breakfast, lunch, dinners, dessert, not dinner, breakfast, lunch, and desserts or snacks, but I've been enjoying putting a little <laughs> Vanilla PE Select in it. This would be good if you have the snickerdoodle one. You could put chocolate protein powder in here, but I was trying to just bump the protein slightly, and I'm only adding about 10 grams or so, just to give it a little more protein and a little bit of that vanilla flavor. So I'm gonna add that in there now, and then, because I had it sit overnight, it did thicken up pretty good. I'm just gonna loosen it with just a tiny bit more almond milk. That's how I've been enjoying it. Oops, hold on a second. There we go, okay. So, just unsweetened almond milk, nothing fancy. And I kinda just added a little extra until I got the consistency that I wanted, so let me show you. But like, once you do this, like this is an entire jar for your breakfast, lunch, or like I said, dessert. I mean, it's gonna fill you up. And like the texture of it, like with the chia seeds, you know how they kind of get a little bit like, how do you even explain it? Uh, I don't, I don't wanna say balls, but you know, like little jelly balls, but whatever. So it's really good. But now look, it fills up the entire container. And I kid you not, this mixture is so delicious. It's just so creamy. It tastes like pumpkin pie in a jar. It's really good. You need to try it. And don't forget to let me know in the comments if you like it. Mm -mm. 